Welcome to Mary is a new evangelization.com and we're at the abortion clinic this morning with an update um, East Liberty abortion facility right here this morning we had an amazing experience there was a, a young lady and her mother actually probably uh, the girl was probably 20 years old and um, she was uh, here with her mother and they were here for an abortion. And um, we approached them as they were coming in, and we offered them help. So we were like, we're here to help you, uh, adoption, whatever you need, we're, we're here to help you. We offered this help to the mother and the daughter. They showed absolutely no um, indication that they were paying attention to us or listening to us or anything of that nature. Uh, the girl definitely did look at our sign and uh, the statue of our Blessed Mother. Um, we had uh, the, the sign uh, over here that I'll show everybody. Uh, my mom chose life sign. So they definitely saw the my mom chose life sign. Now, in addition to the my mom chose life, uh, I was carrying the statue here of Our Lady of Guadalupe. So I'm carrying the statue of Our Lady of Guadalupe as I'm trying to talk to these people. So the girl goes in for the abortion, and then the mom has to come out and move her car. So as the mom's coming out and to move her car, um, I simply followed her with the statue of Our Lady Guadalupe. And I was just pleading with her. I said, ma'am, what are you doing? You're the grandmother. That's your daughter. I mean, uh, this is going to affect her. She might not ever be able to have kids again. Uh, women who have abortions definitely are, uh, you know, suffer. They really suffer um, horribly. So, but she, like I said, didn't even look at me. She didn't say anything to me. And then she got in her car, and then she moved her car closer to the abortion facility. And um, lo and behold, within 15 minutes, she comes walking out with her daughter. And, you know, they didn't say anything to us whatsoever, but they came walking out, and they did not have the abortion. So everybody is thankful this morning. And... Just give credit to the Holy Spirit for this, working on their hearts. Uh, there are, you know, so many reasons. There's, you can see, we have just college students here, tons of college students here praying. You know, we have people witnessing, evangelizing, and... This is, uh, you know, this is what it takes. You know, everybody working together to try to save lives. And we pray for that, you know, pray for that girl uh, and the mother. And, you know, babies bring happiness to people's life. Yes, they're a tremendous responsibility. Yes, a lot of people don't feel like they're ready. You know, they're not prepared to bring a child into the world. And, and that's understandable. You know, that uh, takes a lot of pressure. But the point is, it's not worth, it's not worth killing a child. It really is not. Uh, when you look about it, was I ready? Um, did I have the best job at the time? Um, did I have the best living arrangements at the time? Was I in the best health? Was I have the best mental health? No, 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 no. Okay, so, um, so you abort because, you know, you're not at the top of your game. You don't need to be at the top of your game. Uh, that's what people are here to do, to help. And there's plenty of people that are willing to help a girl in a crisis pregnancy. There's agencies all over the place. And there's people all over the place who are willing to help. You know, So thank God for that life that was saved. And uh, everybody continue the good work and pray for the end of abortion. It's hurting people. It's hurting women. It's hurting babies. It's hurting men. You know, and it's obviously hurting the heart of Jesus and Mary.
Check out the website, Mary is a new evangelization.com. God bless.